today is the 100th anniversary of my father's birth. So we're making merit for him. When you make merit for someone, it's both for their sake and for your sake. For their sake, you hope that whatever merit you can spread to them, they are in a position to know and appreciate it and gain merit themselves. And for your sake, you try to think of the goodness of the person, because you want to keep that goodness alive. In my father's case, one of the lessons I learned from him very early on was that there are a lot of jobs that need to be done in the world that nobody wants to do, and so there's plenty of opportunity to do good for the world where no one else is going to push you out of the way. One of my early memories of him was that we had a cesspool near the house. It was getting filled, and so he's going to dig a new cesspool. And he made the mistake of digging the new one too close to the old one. And as he was digging down, digging down, all of a sudden all the contents of the old cesspool came into where he was. And he said a few words I didn't understand. <laughs> but others, aside from that, he didn't seem to be too phased by that. I thought that was a fate worse than death at that time. There are a lot of things that he would do around the house, and he was always looking for things to do, the things that nobody else was paying attention to. And so that's a good lesson to bear in mind. When I went to stay with a John Fuang in Thailand, I found out later that one of the things that he had liked about me very early on was that I saw that nobody was cleaning his spittoons, and so I just started cleaning them myself. I guess that's he figured that this is somebody you can train. So this is a lesson I'd like to pass on, is there's a lot of good to be done in the world that nobody's doing. So look for your opportunity. There's no one standing in your way. And this can be little things around the monastery, or larger issues, whatever you see that needs to be done. That's your opportunity to leave your mark of goodness in the world. Maybe people may not remember your name. I was just Googling him to see what there's left of him on the internet of his existence. There's not much. But his goodness lives on. So it's when you think about pe people who have passed away, you can think about the goodness that they taught you, either through their words or through example, and see what you can do to keep that goodness alive in the world, because there's so much that's going against the survival of goodness in our day and age. People hardly even talk about it anymore. You look up books on goodness and Amazon, and what you get are books on recipes for food. That's the goodness we have left. So try to have goodness of character, goodness of your desire to do something well for the world, to leave a gift for the world. Try to keep that goodness alive.